All right, Jesus, let's fucking go. So today will be a different type of video. I'm gonna be helping out some of y'all. Cause you know, you guys ask me a lot of questions on Instagram and I do read them. And when I see good ones, I'll actually respond and make a video out of it. For example, today I'm gonna make a video and for all the beta males so they can see how they can achieve the fucking end goal, which is to get your willy wet and to get value out of getting your willy wet. So, hey G, I got a question. For the last two weeks, I was talking to a girl and I liked her so much. Or, look, look, already a massive red flag. Just the fact that you said that already tells me the entire situation is fucked. Just fucked. Why do you like the girl so much even though you've been just talking to her for two weeks? When I talk to girls, I take, honestly, I don't take too much time until I say I like them, but I don't like them in a beta male way. I see potential in them, right? Let's say a girl is, you know, she, she, she isn't just side chick, random side chick. She's actually, she has potential for me to give her more attention, right? For me to become a main chick. Then yeah, I like her, right? But I, I won't just talk for two, for two weeks and say I like her so much. Oh, <laughs> I just fucked the bitch. What the fuck? All right. The problem is that I'm, I'm continuing. The problem is that I dumped her because he was talking. I think he, so. She look. Look. For, first thing first. I hate it when you guys fucking send me messages and you can't even fucking speak proper English. Like I had this other guy. He sent me a massive text. Like it read like a fucking other language. Just fucking. That's where it fucking starts. Learn how to write properly. The problem is that I dumped her because he, or he means she, was talking to other guys too. Yeah, that's good. Did I make a good thing? I mean, I was the favorite. Okay. I was talking to her all day <laughs> on call, text, and she was answering to my text very quick. Beta. Beta mail. I know I gave her too much attention. Beta. One more problem is that there is a lot of, okay, there is a lot of distance between us. Well, that's not a thing. Distance always makes everything way, way worse. So it seems like this guy has not even fucked the chick. And they were just talking. And the girl has stolen his attention. You know, the girl's geniuses. When it comes to this type of shit. And actually just recently. My attention got stolen from a chick as well. Right. She tricked me into coming to my place. And to have sex with me. Which I know sounds insane. That I'm saying this. But. Yeah. Well I can talk this about in another video. But. um, let Be very careful. And make sure you know why. Chicks are talking to you. Like why is she talking to you? Why, why is she engaging with you? Just, just think about it. Go, Calm down for a quick second and just, if you talk to with a chick, ask yourself, what, why is she talking to me? Is it because I'm a G? Is it because she's getting free attention? Is it because she's getting free attention from a G? That can also happen. D does she want sex? Does she want money? Also, if you reach a certain level, chicks talk to you because they think like, I got money. But why is the chick talking to you? And in this case, the chick was talking to this guy so that she can extract free attention from him. And then she was talking to other guys anyway. But he liked her already. That's such a like massive bad start. Alright. I gave her too much attention. One more problem is that there's a lot of distance between us. Okay, I already read that. She's located in the city that I was born in. And I'm in a city 300 kilometers away. Because here is where I work. I go home every month. I wanted a relationship with this girl. Beta! A, a girl should want a relationship with you and you allow her to have a relationship with you. That's how, the, that's how the fuck it works. I wanted a relationship with the girl because I'm planning to move home with my work. When I broke with her... Now, that's the other thing. I don't like... What, what did you exactly break with her? You said you wanted a relationship, which implies you didn't... You were not in a relationship. So what exactly did you break? You just... You basically just like said, okay, I don't want you to be a fuck. I don't. I don't want a fucking hoe talk 
who's talking to other guys as well all the time. And the thing is this, a chick is gonna always be talking to guys at the beginning. You know, if, if, if you, if you, okay, let's say you really want, you see potential in a main chick, right? You've been, you're gonna date her, you're gonna talk to her, and then she's gonna start falling more and more in love with you. The more a chick falls in love with you, she stops entertaining other guys. Like she just doesn't, because you, you are the, the point is this, if a chick falls in love with a guy, he becomes the center of her world. Now, a chick cannot serve two masters at the same time. If she's in mad in love with you, she's not gonna go and talk to other guys anyway. And now, if she does, you know, at the, at the very beginning, you can't just bring it up. It doesn't make sense. Like, after one week, two weeks, uh, you know, cut off all the guys. No, the chick has to, you know, you gotta give the chick time. You know, just boil her a little bit, you know. Make, make, make the fucking bitch boil in the water until it's too late. And then you're like, well, you still ta- ta- uh, you still talk to other guys? I don't want that. So, uh, I, don't know, I want to talk to other guys. Okay, bitch. Well, if you're going to talk to other guys, I'm not going to take you serious and buy. Give an ultimatum. She also wrote me a huge message where she was telling me that she would love me so much if we would have been in a relationship and that she fell in love with me. Okay. Was it a good idea to dump her? I'm not going back to her because I don't want to be at her mercy, but I don't want to repeat the same mistake again. I case this was a mistake. Also, she was texting me first thing in the morning, not me. Also, she told me from the beginning that she's texting. <laughs> she told me the beginning that she's texting the other guys too. What a mess. So basically, she was in a three-year relationship, and then uh, she ended it, and she was talking to other guys anyway, which she told him. I know this might be an important aspect, but because I have been used as an emotional healing tool, you get it. You get it. <laughs> nice. I don't, I don't know what to believe. Love is so fucking annoying sometimes. No, it's not. No, it's not. You, you're just fucking beta male. So for the long text, but I want, sorry for the long text. I want to expose most important details so I can get an a- accurate answer. Well, let me get to get you the accurate answer. It's very, look, life is very simple. It's so simple. Many of your problems, my G's, could be solved if you just saw it in a very simplistic manner. So... This guy fell in love with a chick that's 300 kilometers away in a random city. And they haven't even really, it doesn't sound like they've had sex. She just in a relationship. She told him that she's talking to other guys from the get-go. So th- this guy, this, this girl did not have much respect for the guy. But this guy still fell in love with a hoe. The reason you did that, G, is because you didn't have other girls chasing you. If you had an abundance of girls, if you had this girl, but... 10 of her you wouldn't be taking this chick seriously you just wouldn't because like she wouldn't be anything special also if you would have a girl if you would have already if you had this abundance and you had experienced a girl who's actually in love with you i'm actually just talking with a chick from guadalajara in mexico where i was like a month ago she just she just saved me on her phone as boss and she's gonna make a photo collage of the first day we met Basically, like she, she's already falling in love with me, all right? And I fucked her. She stayed over, fucked a couple of times. But basically, it was like it, we, had, we spent like a day together, right? A day in the morning. And that was it. And this girl's just in another city. And she's texting me hearts and begging me to come back, saying she's going to cook for me, clean for me, give me massages, everything, okay? And this is the standard that you need to set. And if these hoes don't meet the standards, you gotta get away. You gotta get away from them. And the reason you're falling in love with this chick is because you haven't experienced it yet, and it's because you don't have an abundance of girls. This would never happen if, look, this would never happen if you had other chicks. I can never fall in love with a chick like this. It's fucking impossible because I would measure up to other chicks that I've already been with. Like, well, this chick is just a fucking hoe. So what are the solutions to this, right? At least it's good that you broke it up with her. She's trash, number one. Number two, never give your attention away for free again. Never give two weeks of fucking attention to a random hoe that's telling you from the get-go that she's texting other guys anyway and that she's using it as an emotional healing tool even though you haven't fucked her yet. Do not do that, guys. Your attention is valuable. Do not, do never ever give away your attention for free, right? And number three, you got to become a fucking G. It's really that simple. Train, right? 
I really haven't looked at your profile. Let, let me look at your profile real quick. How, how the fuck you look like? All right. You do like, you know, you, you do look like a, like a G, right? So you look, you're, 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 you're buff, right? You got good style, decent style. Let me show you. Like, let me see. I'm not going to reveal, but that's basically him. Let's see. Can you fucking see this? That's him. Let's see if you can fucking see it. So that's him, guys. So, the style isn't bad. All right. The style isn't bad. He looks good. You can definitely get chicks. You look masculine, right? So, just create standards. Talk to as many chicks as you can, right? Date as many chicks as you can. You have the looks. Just set up a good Tinder profile, right? <clears throat> get straight to the point. Don't give your attention away for free meet up with the girls try to have sex with them and try to fuck as many girls as you can for now that will remove this mindset of like only one girl soulmate Re remove this concept from your brain we're not living in the 1950s anymore you have to fuck a lot of girls until you find a girl that is actually worthwhile it it's really it's really that simple okay so do these steps g's and you will be in a better position Duh.